Louisiana is an important refueling stop in the hummingbirds' winter migration, and one Baton Rouge backyard has a lot of fuel for these tiny birds. Toby Blanchard visited Luke Laborde's home with a group of LSU students studying Louisiana wildlife to see these tiny birds in action. Dozens of hummingbird feeders line Luke Laborde's backyard. Each September, ruby-throated hummingbirds making their southward migration flock to the bright red feeders. LSU College of Agriculture students congregate at Laborde's as well. Laborde is an instructor in the College of Agriculture School of Renewable Natural Resources, and the students are in a wildlife management techniques class. Our goal in this class is to get our students into the field and teach them safe capture and handling techniques uh, for birds, for mammals, for some amphibians, for different types of Louisiana wildlife. The class used remote control cages to capture the birds. Mine kind of got stuck in the cage and it took me a couple of tries to like get it out without hurting it, so I just had to be real gentle. Dave Patton, a licensed bird bander, was gathering information on each bird and banding them. The process I run them through here is uh, the measurements of uh, the wing and the tail and the bill, the amount of fat that it has on it, its weight, its general condition of its health. The information is sent to a federal bird banding laboratory. If the bird is ever recaptured, the information is available to compare the bird's growth and location. This information is extremely important because it allows us to like um, basically keep up with the population dynamics and migration uh, trends and things like that. So yeah, it's really, really cool. For the students, the most exciting part of the project was the release of the birds. When Patton finished banding and measuring each bird, he put it in a student's hand. Some birds <laughs> flew away quickly, but others lingered before flitting away. I tamed the hummingbird. <laughs> With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting. In this class, students will also have the opportunity to capture and study many other animals, including ducks and feral hogs.